all board holders should answer three simple questions. Number one, does it create a stable braking platform? Some do it better than others. Number two, who's going to hold for me if I'm by myself or if I want a power brake and it's only me and a partner? Number three, where can I brake? Now look, you can buy little gloves for your fingers so that if somebody kicks them when you're holding the board, it doesn't hurt. That's great, but it still does not create a stable braking platform and boards can still fly in your face. Number two, you can buy other portable board holders, but you're not going to power brake with them and mounting them is a bit of a difficulty. Number three, you can buy permanently mounted machines that go on the wall or a heavy bag, but you can't take them out to a tree or a fence and put them up in a few seconds flat, and you sure can't power brake with them in the middle of a stage for a demonstration. The Gorilla Board Holder solves all those problems. The Gorilla Board Holder is the number one board holder on the planet because it answers those three questions. It provides you with versatility in your braking. Body braking fans, you know why you're here, because board braking is one of the most dynamic parts of any martial art. We use it at demos to bring students into our organizations, and we do it in our schools to keep them there. The problem with board braking, of course, is a stable braking platform. The majority of people are using humans, people, to hold the boards. Not a good idea. Why? Well, they've been kicked in the fingers. They've had their elbows jammed into their ribs. They've had their wrists bent. They've had boards fly in their face, all of which causes pain. So they go to hold the boards for you, you get ready to wind up, you kick and they flinch. You go from here to zero in about two seconds. That demo that was supposed to bring people into your school now chases them away. Here's what usually happens. We have five boards, two guys holding. You get ready to break, you guys are strong, shoulders in, lean in strong, and it's not very stable. So what do we do? We add two more guys on the wrist. Now they're locking their wrists so that they don't collapse, everybody's in pushing, and we still have a problem. So what do we do? We add more guys. Now this is starting to look really ridiculous. We're getting ready to break five boards at a demo. We've got all these guys in here, and it still moves. We want to be successful. Thank you, guys. Instead, here's five boards. I'm a little guy. No problem. All by myself. Yeah! Gorilla board holder, success every time. Gorilla board holder, it's the number one board holder on the planet. Why? Because you can take it anywhere. You're on a stage doing a demo, no problem. Set up your machine, brace, boom, success, no problem. You're in a class, you want to do angled brakes, leave the pole in, just support it here, lock your arms out. You're at a park, no problem. Find a fence, find a mailbox, find a tree up against it, put your hand in the safety zone, get out of the way. Provide a safe, secure braking platform for your students. In your classroom, use the clip provided. Permanently mount your machine. Nice, quick, easy adjustments. You even can change the orientation of the arm if you want to do different types of brakes. On the ground, get rid of the pole. You're ready to go. Boom. Easy. You're at a parade. It weighs nothing. Run with it. Put it on the ground. Do your brake for the cameras. If you wanted to hold it, Grab the handles, pick it up, do any orientation you want. Nice, easy. If you have heavy bags or a bob, use a ratchet strap or a camber strap, zip her on, adjust your heights, and you're good to go. Grill a board holder. If you can break it, it can take it.